Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is Unit 7, Lesson 5, Models of Possibility and Conclusion. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project success. Two, student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Four, a dictionary. All right. Lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use models in writing sentences. So what is a model? This is a sample sentence. It has a gap in between. It rain tomorrow. Now I need to use a model. I say, it could rain tomorrow. It could rain tomorrow. Another one, the book be very interesting. Now use a model. The book might be interesting. A third example, the doctor have a lot of experience. Use a model. The doctor must have a lot of experience. So models are used when we want to make a guess. So the models are could, might, and must. We'd like to use them to make a guess about something. We choose a model depending on how certain we are. So let me explain that further. So model, in order for us to understand, we have to use a line of degree, okay? So models like must, could, may, or might, and can't, Okay, I use when we want to make a guess about something. We choose the model depending on how certain we are. And let me show you how certain we could use the line of degree. So, we start with the zero percentage, can't. If, some, if you can't do something in the future, it means there's zero possibility of doing it. Might, it has a slight chance. May has a 50 chance of doing it. Could, more, a, a little bit more, 75, and must 100%, okay, of possibility. We say that the 100% and 0% with can't and must, the conclusion, conclusion. You are, you have a judgment in the future and based on something you saw now. While could, may, might, there are probability, probability. There is a chance, and that chance differs, okay? So, formal sentences using models, affirmative sentence. We have subject, plus a model, plus verb bear, which means without two, just the base form of the verb, plus a complement, and a complement is the completion of the sentence. So, for example, we have the pin, the pin is a subject, plus a model, might, I say, the pin might. Verb bear, the base form of the verb, like be, be, and then the complement, there. The pin might be there. So we have used the model of possibility within the sentence. Let's check another one. The man is a subject, may is a model. Have is a bare verb. We call it a bare infinitive. And then uh, a book, which is the complement of the sentence. So the degree of possibility changed between might and may. The task could take some time. And you see, each sentence is now different according to possibility. The kids must be asleep now. And this is a conclusion based on something you know. The kids must be asleep now. All right. So the first one is 25%, second one is 50%, 75 for the third one, and the fourth one is 100%. Okay, let's have a quick task. So fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one, the book 
gap be open now? You have to use a model, but with 25% of possibility. Quick, five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is might. The door might be open now. Let's try a different one. That man, Gap, be the new doctor. This time, 75%. Use a model. Let's check the answer. The answer is good. Very good. Let's check a third one. Hardy, like his new bike, he rides it every day. 100%. Draw a conclusion. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is must. Now correct yourself out of three and let's carry on. Models of possibility and conclusion. Now, line of degree. Now we started with the positive models. Now let's go to the negative models. As you see, I started, I started with must. Now I say must not. Then I use could not, may not, and might not. Okay, and the degrees are these. Zero, 100%, that means in the negative. Okay, you draw a conclusion in the negative. Okay, 75% in the negative, 50% in the negative, 25% in the negative, and we do not have a negative zero for this. Okay, so we could use them. And plus we have uh, contractions. So must not becomes mustn't. Could not becomes couldn't. May not becomes mayn't. Might not mightn't. All right, let's form sentences using negatives. Now we start with a model, then a model plus a not, or the contraction. A bare infinitive plus complement, the completion of the sentence. The pen is a subject, model, might not or mightn't. Be, there, the same sentence but in the negative. The man, may not or mayn't, have a book, all right. The task, couldn't or could not take a lot of time, all right. The, the kids must not or mustn't be asleep now. I drew a conclusion based on that. So minus 25, minus 50, minus 75, and minus 100. Very good, very good. Let's do task two. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one, Khalid, gap, arrive at 7 p.m. You have to use a minus 50 model. Have a quick five seconds. All right, let's check. The answer is ma, may not or mayn't. Very good. If you are correct, give yourself a mark. Number two, the flight gap be delayed any further, minus 100% model. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is mustn't or must not. Okay, three, shops sell this product anytime soon, minus 25%. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is might not or mightn't. Very good. Give yourself a mark of three and carry on. Task number three. Now, in your notebooks, answer the following. Circle the correct models. And you have a mark of four. Number one, this is an example. Bedr and Rima has worked together for three years. They might or can't be friends. So what is the answer? Remember, you have to read the sentence before it. The answer is might, might be friends, might be friends, because they have worked for a long time, three years. All right, now we have number two, better got three hours of sleep last night. He must or might not be tired. Two, 
uh, three, Karima knows Rima, who talk about her. She couldn't or may be annoyed. Three, Better is trying to ignore Rima. He must or must not want to hear the gossip. Four, Rima spends a lot of time at work chatting. She could or must not be very busy. Now you have three minutes to do this. All right, now let's check the answer. Number two, the first answer is must. Three, may. Number four, must not. Number five, must not. So correct yourself and carry on. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question. Rewrite the sentences using models, like the example below. And you have a mark of eight. Number one, I think they're angry, and I have to use the, ver or the model between the parentheses. I say, they must be angry. They must be angry. So, I do not use I think, because that is the probability, all right? I use their angry and I make it they must be angry. All right, now you have some sentences to change. She is probably at lunch, you have to use might. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like what it says, use must not. Four, I don't believe she's back already, use can't. Five, maybe he's bad brother, use could. And you have three minutes.
All right, let's check the answer. Before you do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. All right, let's check the model answers for question B. Number two, she might be at lunch. Three, she must not like what it says. Four, she can't be back already. Five, he could be Badge's brother. Now compare both answers and let's carry on. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson. Then calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use models and writing sentences. And you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 marks or more, then go back to the part you failed in and redo that. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks or, or lower than that, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.